hope it's not too windy. So I just finished Gould's Book of Fish by Richard Flanagan and honestly I really don't understand the book. The book starts off very well. It tells the story of this man who tells us his life and the mischievous things he's done. He's not quite honest, he's a forger. And then he finds this book and this book of fish and it's like glittery, it tells a story of something in many different colors written cross and over each other and different stories and it seems so unbelievable and it seems so rich that he tries to find out if it's real and historic but everybody tells him it's a forgery and they don't believe him and yeah that's the first chapter I really liked that the writing was awesome I could get into the story I was interested in the book and I just wanted to know more and then with the second chapter it starts with the story in the book of fish the book that he found and the writing changes, the narrator changes. It's this William Buller Gold, probably said that wrong, and he's a forger as well and he's a prisoner and he's made to paint fish. And the story goes back and forth and it's really difficult to understand and he's a convict on Sarah Island, Van Diemen's Land, and all the things that are going on there are unbelievable and it's just all confusing and it's all weird. And sometimes I was reading this and I, I could understand the words, but I had the feeling I don't understand what they want to tell me. And the weird part about this book is that it's a book that I should like. It has everything I like. The new narrator, Billy Gould, tells things in three different ways sometimes. The narrator voice changes. He sometimes distances himself from the story and talking about himself in third person. Sometimes he also addresses the reader and those are things I like. And also there's a lot going on about story in the story in the story and the swimming or merging lines between reality and story and it's, it's all these things I like. It's talking on different levels about stories and reality and influencing each other and the things that are happening and to this person they sh I should like that but it was not fun reading I really was confused most of the time he's using a story and the people and I just couldn't get into the book yeah so I don't know if you've read the book just let me know what you think of it and the worst part or the most confusing part about it is this William Buller Gold is a person who existed and he was made to paint fish so he was real but most of the story probably isn't real but that's what he's saying it's like this happened but people didn't tell us and they don't believe us and wrong things are in the history books confusing just confusing tell me what you think